One assignment for next week is to write a text of six to eight measures of 4-4, four, four, using only quarter notes with the accent on the first syllable of the first word of each measure. Then conduct your text, chanting the words as you conduct. First of all, we have the measure of four, four quarter notes. This sign means simply to repeat. So let's just conduct the four measures of the quarter notes. Position, breathe, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. Now let's add the text. We have to make sure that we have an accented syllable on the first beat, and perhaps an accented syllable, which would not be as strong, on the third beat. Our text, Jesus Christ is King of Glory. So that's four measures. I'm sorry, that is two measures of four, four. Preparation. Jesus Christ is King of Glory. The next assignment will be to write a text of four to six measures of four four using quarter notes, half notes, and eighth notes. So this might be an example of two measures. One, and we would count it in this sense. The note gets the number of the beat. So the half note here, it falls on the third beat. So it won't get four, you won't say four. We will simply say three. As an and we have a subdivided note here, beat here, on our first beat. So this is one and. Let's write the numbers in. This will be one, two, three. And this note is one and two, three. Preparation. One, two, three, one and two, three. And that's how we would count that as we direct. Okay, David, um, can I just take some words from a hymnal and put them in? Wouldn't that do? Or In other words, something that the text is already in four, four meter with yeah. the accents in the, in the improper place? Well, yeah, of course you could do that and that would work. But the purpose of the exercise is, in fact, to make you think about the relationship between music and words, between words and music. And then when it comes to chant, where most of our Orthodox chant will not have any meter signs, you're going to have to know in advance where the strong accents are, where you give a downbeat, and where, in fact, you have unaccented syllables, and those aren't downbeats. You, you will not direct chant simply like this with every, with every syllable getting a downbeat. That, that would, that, there'll be no phrasing. There'll, there'll be no sense to, the, sense to the text. So that's why it's much better for you to do the text yourself even, even though the word, the, the, the sentence in it itself that you end up with might not make that much sense, but you're still thinking about downbeat accent. The two beat of a four pattern is unaccented. Three beat might be accented. Four beat is not accented. Downbeat is accented. So you won't have the syllable the on a downbeat. You probably won't have the syllable two. Uh, you certainly won't have 
today. No, we say today. Where's the accent? So it would have to be today. If you, say, if you had the today on, a, on an accent, a syllable would be like today. We don't speak that way. So that's why it's better for you to do the exercise and not use given texts where, that are written in appropriate meters. So how about amen? The well, we know that, that many sing the word amen with the accent on the first syllable, but, but in the Greek and in the Slavonic and most Orthodox churches, in fact, keep the accent where it originally was, amen. So in that sense, we will go preparation, amen.